Hello. Um, today, uh, I will be explaining the activity that I have given to you. It's all about the sum and the products of the roots of a quadratic equation. So, the first given is um, x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0. Alright? So, the first thing that you have to do is to find the factors. Okay? And the factors of x squared ano yung dalawang variable na pwede natin i-multiply nang magiging kalalabasan niya ay x squared. So, it should be x multiplied by x. So, yung dalawang yon ay dito natin ilalagay sa first term ng uh, binomial na ito. Next will be the factor of 6. What are the possible factors of 6? Alright, so we have 1 multiplied by 6 and what else? Very good. So we have 2 times 3. So which among the two, dito sa dalawang to, ang possible na magkaroon tayo ng negative 1 kapag pinag-add or pag pinag-minus natin? Kapag ang 1 and 6 ang ginamit natin, pag pinag-add natin, we'll get 7. No, kapag pinag-minus naman natin siya, pwedeng 5 ang magiging sagot. Alright? Either positive or negative. Wherein, kapag 2 ang naging sagot natin, pag pinag-add natin yung 2 and 3, we'll get 5 as well. Pero kapag pinag-minus natin, pwedeng magkaroon ng 1. Alright? Eh, since ang hinahanap, na, ang hinahanap natin ay negative 1, so mas applicable na gamitin yung 2 and 3. Okay, so after that, um, what will be the operation of the two binomials para mag-come up tayo dun sa uh, middle term natin na negative x. So, ano po yung magiging equation uh, uh, operation ng dalawang ito? So, as you can see, dapat ang lalabas ay negative x. So, definitely, dapat yung malaking number yung magiging negative. Ayan. So, this is a case-to-case -case basis. No? So, depending on the given equation, kung ano yung magiging uh, operation ng dalawang yun. Okay, so after that, so try natin kung magiging negative x yung kalalabasan ng ating combination ng dalawang to. So, 2 times x, we have 2x. Negative 3 times x will give us negative 3x. And then after that, i-add natin 2x minus 3x ang sagot ay negative x. So, there you have it. The same na siya or parehas na siya doon. Ibig sabihin, we got the correct combination of uh, factors. No? At the same time, yung kanilang operation. x plus 2 and x minus 3 equals to 0. So, after doing that, we'll get the we'll get the uh, I mean equate natin sa 0 yung dalawang factors so we have x plus 2 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals to 0 applying the addition property of equality so this positive 2 will become negative 2 this will be your x sub 1 and this negative 3 will give us a positive 3. So therefore, this will be the roots 
of the given quadratic equation. Okay? Get the sum. Ibig sabihin, ia-add natin yung negative 2 at negative 3 as the roots of the equation. So, x sub 1 plus x sub 2. Bakit plus? Dahil summation po yung ating hinahanap. So, therefore, ang magiging sagot natin dito will be negative 2 plus 3. Ang sagot ay positive 1. Then, the product will be multiply lang po natin. So, x sub 1 multiplied by x sub 2. And x sub 1 is negative 2. And x sub 2 is positive 3. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 3 is equal to negative 6. Alright? So, this will be the the sum. 1 and the product of the roots is negative 6. Alright, so by the way, our A value will be 1, B value, value is negative 1, and C value is equal to negative 6. Alright, so I hope you get the correct answer in your activity. Okay, so any question? Alright, so let's now proceed to example number 2. For a while. So we have example number 2, the given is x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals to 0. So what's the value of a? Very good, we have 1. The value of b is positive 6. What is the value of c? Alright, that is 8. Next, get the roots of the given equation. So, in order for us to determine the roots, we have to get the factors of the first and the last term. So, anong factor ng x squared nga natin? We have x and x. Next, ano naman yung factor ng 8? Again, the factor of x squared is equal to x multiplied by x. Kaya ayun yung sinulad ko dito, x and x. How about for 8? What are the possible factors? We have, okay, very good. We have 1 and 8, then 2 and 4. So, which among the two factors ang magkakaroon or possible na magkaroon Pag pinag-add or pag pinag-minus natin yung dalawang number ng positive 6. So, pag pinag-add natin itong dalawa, we'll get 9. Tama? Pag pinag-minus naman natin, possible na magkaroon ng 7. Dito, kapag pinag-add natin, we'll get 6. At pag pinag-minus naman natin, we'll get 2. So, ang hinahanap natin ay 6. This is uh, ayan, dito po natin siya pwedeng kunin sa factor na ito. So, therefore, 2 and 4 are the factors that we are looking for. Since parehas positive ang operation na nakikita ninyo, so, therefore, positive parehas yung ilalagay or gagamitin natin. No, that's the clue. Pag parehas positive yung nandiyan, uh, positive ang parehas na operation na gagamitin. 
Okay? So, after that, we'll get the, or we'll equate the given factor, the two, the fact, the uh, two binomial, which are the factors of the given equation. So, we have x plus 2 equals to 0, and x plus 4 equals to 0. So, applying a addition property of equality we'll get we'll get we'll get x of 1 is equal to negative 2 and x sub 2 is equal to negative 4 applying addition property of equality so, ano pa yung mga kailangan nating alamin or sagutan? Yan. Sum of roots. So, the formula for that will be x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So, ano yung x sub 1 natin? We have negative 2 plus negative 4. Yan. Negative 2 plus negative 4 is equal to, so i-add natin yan, we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, parehas siyang negative, kaya copy natin yung negative sign. Okay, and the product of roots, the formula will be x sub 1 multiplied by x sub 2. Next, so what's the value of x sub 1? It's negative 2 multiplied by negative 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Negative times negative is equal to positive. So therefore, the correct answer is positive 8. Again, the value of a is 1, the value of b is 6, and the value of c is 8. Ayan. Ang x sub 1 natin is negative 2 x sub 2 is negative 4 Actually, you can interchange Those uh, Roots So, pwede silang magkabalik tag Parehas namang tama yan. And their sum is negative 6 Pag pinag-add yung dalawang roots Ay negative 6 Pag pinag-multiply naman We'll get positive 8 Any question so far? Okay, so let's now proceed to the last item. So, last item. Sige, dito natin siya isulat dahil meron tayong allotted box para sa given na number 3. So, we have x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals to 0. And the value of A is equal to Anong value ng A? Okay, that's 1 What's the value of B? 7 or negative 7? Okay, so the correct answer is negative 7 How about the value of C? Alright, so it should be positive 12 after getting those, um, we'll start getting the factors of this uh, quadratic equation. Again, the factor, what is the factor of x squared? Alright, so the correct answer is x and x. How about the factors of 12? No, anong mga factors ng 12? It can be... Okay, it can be 1 multiplied by 12 or 1 times 12. What else? 3 and 4 and 2 multiplied by 6. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, alin sa tatlo ang ating gagamitin na combination as a factor of 12? Very good. It should be 
it should be 3 and 4. Bakit? Kasi kapag pinag-add natin sila, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Ayun, 7. Okay? Dito kasi sa 1 and 12, pag pinag-add natin ay 13, pag pinag-minus natin ay 11. Ang kailangan natin ay 7. So, 1 and 12 is not what we are looking for. 2 and 6 naman, pag pinag-add natin ay 8. Pag pinag-minus naman natin ay 4. So, again, we are looking for the outcome of 7. At yung outcome na yun ay yung 3 and 4 lang yung makakapag-satisfy ng ating hinahanap. Okay? So, therefore, ang, ang two factors ng 12 na hinahanap natin at kailangan natin ay 3 and 4. So, what will be the operation? Since negative 7 yan, at kapag pinag-add nyo yung negative 3 and negative 4 will get negative 7x. So, therefore, we got the correct combination of factors. So, after doing that, anong gagawin natin? Okay, so we'll get the, or we will equate the two factors into 0. So, we have x minus 3 equals 0. At the same time, x minus 4 equals to 0. So, x sub 1 will be applying the, ano ibig sabihin ng APE? Addition property of equality. Very good. So, x sub 1 will be positive 3 and x sub 2 will be positive 4. Ayan. So, anong sunod natin kukunin? Sum of the roots. Anong formula for sum of the roots? We have x sub 1 plus x sub 2. What is the value of x sub 1? We have 3. And the value of x sub 2 is 4. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So therefore, the sum of roots is equal to 7. Ang product naman, anong formula ng product? x sub 1 multiplied by x sub 2. So what's the value of x sub 1? We have... 3 and the value of x sub 2 is 4 or pwede magkabalik tadyan ha basta make sure na tama po yung combination at yung mga operation na gagamitin ninyo kasi kung hindi mali po ang inyong magiging sagot so 3 times 4 is equal to ok so the correct answer is 12 so therefore the sum of the roots is uh, 7 while the product of the roots is 12. Alright? So, I hope you get to understand my uh, discussion about the activity that I have given to you. So, I hope I may natutunan sa video na ito. Manood at pag-aralan isulat sa notebook ang mga uh, competition na ginawa ko sa video na ito. Maraming salamat sa panunood. Patuloy na mag-aral para mas marami pang matutunan sa buhay. Okay? So, goodbye everyone and thank you.